Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans all around the world, from the sunny Caribbean, you are watching What You Need. This video is a continuation of the previous video where I was talking about subscriptions concerning training in boxing. Now some of you want to begin training in boxing, but you don't know where to begin. And I'm going to give you a playlist to go to on my channel where you can look at videos that start off you in boxing. Okay, because boxing is a very popular sport. It's getting more and more popular because it's become more legitimate. It's a safer sport and so on. More people are going to gyms and training. Now, if you can't go to the gym, some of you guys said you can't go to gyms to train. No problem. You can train right in your room. You can train. Once you have a little space, you can start training in boxing. Okay. Now, when you go to my playlist, you begin off with footwork. Okay, footwork. Those are the drills. And it's a very simple drill. It's called the box step. And it's done by Eric Bradley, the fight doctor of master boxing now my channel basically is geared towards it's a gateway to other channels on youtube and from there to other businesses on youtube that basically cover boxing so my job is to get you plugged into the sport of boxing that's why my channel's here okay and i refer you to other channels who have vast experience and knowledge in the sport of boxing that can actually train you in the sport of boxing now let me give you again reasons why the sport of boxing is a great sport to get yourself involved in. Health-wise, boxing works almost all the muscle groups in your body. If you just look at these boxers here, this gentleman, he's squatting, so it's working all of his muscle groups that are associated with his leg muscles, it's associated with his back muscles, the torque is working his core as well as his back muscles, he's working his forearm muscles, okay? He's keeping his forearm here as a guard, so he's working the forearm, he's working the upper arm, He's working his neck muscles because his head has to move at a certain angle, okay? He's working all those fine muscles that work balance, okay? He has to work the muscle groups that keep him on the ball of his feet. You have to be so ready and agile in, in boxing that it works almost every muscle group. So even two minutes of training has you pouring sweat because of the sharp muscle movements you have to make and the torque and the turning of the body that is accompanies those exercises. So boxing is great for people who may be overweight or have heart problems, cardio problems, or they may have diabetes. It's a great, great way to work out, okay? And you can just look at all these different pictures. Um, it's not just a sport developed for brutality. A lot of people get uh, caught up in the brutality of boxing. But really and truly, for the general public who may look at boxing a certain way, maybe negatively think of it as a brutal sport, and we're trying to move away from brutality, you also have to look at it as a disciplined sport. Boxing is a sport where you have to discipline yourself to go into routines and to train in training regiments and to be consistent in training as well as to work and improve yourself in training. And so even me, I'm 40 years old and I do some of the exercises. I've, I've actually stopped for a while, but I'm getting back into it. And the exercises, they help you, they help your body and also build up your health. Boxing is like dancing, but it's a lot more strenuous on the body because a lot of you guys need to get into boxing. Some of you guys, really, your health is really poor. And if you don't watch yourself, you can become someone who, you know, has to pay all these health bills because you didn't take care of your body properly. And it's all about being healthy. That's what Bernard Hopkins was trying to inspire older folks like you and me and younger folks as well to get involved. Now, the next video I put out is going to go into other channels on YouTube that deal with breaking down boxing fights, okay? And I'll refer to them by name. But these channels you need to check out. I already mentioned Carrie Williams' channel, and she was a boxer. She's a wonderful trainer. She has her own way of training, and um, she's also a model, okay? So, again, you don't have to necessarily be, you know, a full-fledged boxer. You may be in something else. It, Boxing is for everyone, okay? And it will root inside of you a certain mentality towards life as well. This is a very serious channel you guys need to pay attention to. Eric Bradley, he is no joke, okay? He is the real deal. As I said before, check him out, master boxing, take that step. I did mention in my previous video, expert boxing, simple training tips to get a boxer or someone introduced into boxing. Not all the techniques, I would say, are correct, but it's a way to begin. Fran Sands is a trainer, okay? He's the real deal. This guy is no joke. So, 
like Eric Bradley, you need to take Fran Sands, Kyrie Williams seriously. All right, these guys are inboxing. They know what they're saying. Same goes for JT Van V. And you can actually do training with them online. All of the people I mentioned, Carrie Williams, Eric Bradley, uh, Fran Sands, you can do the training online and they can guide you through what you need to do. And they have certain videos and so on. You can purchase those things. Some other stuff they have for free also online. So go check out them. Moreno Boxing. If you want to just do boxing as someone who just wants it for exercise, if you want to do boxing because you want to go into the pros, do check out this channel. Again, the basics are what they put up on the channel, but the basics is where you begin in boxing, okay? As you move up, you learn other things. But for now, we just need to start off very, very basic with things that are doable for you guys to begin with. Train to perfection. Let me say, this man knows boxing, okay? This man was in the amateurs. He had, I think... He's an undefeated as a pro, and um, he's the trainer of Zab Judah. Do go check out these videos. I, I haven't been able to locate him online since he's been in Las Vegas. I don't know exactly where I can find him online. I may have to go search through some video clips to see where he is, if he's on YouTube anymore, etc. But one thing I can tell you is, this man knows boxing. So do go check him out as well, if I can find him. Special mention to Barry Robinson, Million Styles Boxing. Excellent trainer as well, knows his stuff, is a little bit unconventional in certain things he's noticed and techniques. But again, all the fundamentals, all of these trainers teach you the fundamentals, okay? Now, Unorthodox Boxing is actually a guy who's an MMA fighter, but he's also been with other notable trainers, and he can box pretty good, okay? And he gives you all these secrets to different things. So that's why I pay attention to his channel. As you get more advanced, you're going to listen to his channel, understand what he's talking about, and then you're going to try and implement it, okay? All of these channels I just mentioned, you guys need to plug into them. You need to. Even if you don't go into boxing and amateur or anything, plug into them and try them out. And it doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man or a child, try these things out. Uh, implement them find some time every single day to implement even if it's five minutes every day two minutes every day to try something because I'm telling you now especially footwork you guys can't start with your hands you need to start with your feet and then you're gonna what we're gonna do is a basic jab off of footwork but the first thing you need is a stance okay you need to be able to stand in a comfortable position with the basic fundamentals of how to stand if you're squared up or not what's important is you're comfortable in that stance and then from there you start to do what we call footwork drills, okay? And then you put the hands into it once the feet are proper. Almost any martial art begins like that. You have to get your stance right, then you have to get your footwork, and then from the footwork you go to the hands, okay? It all feels a little strange in the beginning if you've never done martial arts, but it gets really, you get comfortable with it a little later on. If you've done martial arts before, some things will feel weird and some things won't feel weird. So that's my little plug for these channels. You'll hear me plugging them all the time especially I believe in training, training, training. I want you guys to get into the sport of boxing because there's a lot of people who talk about boxing. I listen to them and they don't really understand it. And it bothers me a little bit because I've been doing some training. I know how hard it is just to do simple things in boxing. And then people don't really quite understand how things happen. There's a reason why, you know, for instance, we talk about setting up a knockout because there are very few boxers in the history of boxing who have one punch knockout power. If they touch you, you're going to go down, okay? Very few boxes like that. And even then, these boxes have to learn how to set up what we call set up the knockout. You see? Because you have to set up a knockout, okay? And of course, I covered all of these things before. So on that note, you guys have a great one. Stay safe. If you've never tried boxing before, you need to try it. I don't say go in the ring and get yourself knocked out or beaten up. I mean, try training in boxing. Try understanding how it works. Okay, because a lot of people think they know boxing. And like Roger Mayweather said, a lot of folks don't know anything about boxing. And I'm one of them. I'm learning, though. You guys have a great one.